mean, it's no secret, like I said, that the system is broke. I'm not going to try to paint it, uh, paint it where it's not, you know, the truth. I mean, the system's broke. And for 15-year-old kids coming in that have 30 years to do, what I would tell them is that what the guys told me when I came in, some of the ones that seen I had some sense. Get into school, make some set good goals, you know, I mean, stay away from the, the prison stuff, you know, if you're trying to, uh, first of all, you're trying to get high on that kind of crap, you know, if you're, the peer pressure that a lot of kids go through, it's in here like crazy. You know, stay away from that stuff, walk your own path, decide what you want to do and find out what your interests are and try your best to find, you know, to keep that your focus. You know, where the system fails is, I mean, I've been locked up for 18 years and I've still never had a chance to get the counseling for why I killed my mom and dad. I've had introspection, I've had journals upon journals, and I've, you know, I've come to a lot of answers. And I could go on the rest of my life and be healthy. But there's still things that, that you know, how do I deal with me and my sisters? I mean, me and my sisters, I mean, we love each other, but we've never had a chance to sit down and talk about this, you know? If anybody can give advice about choices and the good ones and the bad ones, that's me. Because I've learned from bad choices where it takes you and good choices of what I've been making since I've been in here, you know. There's a variety of attitudes or personalities that come through here. You see some that's real timid and scared. And you see some that's kind of brash and cocky. You're usually in intake maybe a week or two until they reclass you and you find a unit and a program for you to go to. I mean, it hasn't been easy. I mean, I've had my, I still have my ups and downs. I mean, there's still days, you know, you wake up, you don't want to get up. Because I know when I get up, I'm going to go through the same old motions of hearing the same conversations or, or being locked up. I ain't know nobody wants to be locked up. I don't want to have eat Aramark meals and, and, and sit my, you know, spend my time in the cell. I mean, I want to play music. I want to write music, but I don't have a guitar. And if I try to get one, it's at rec time, you know, and I don't get much rec because of where I work. So there's a lot of frustrations, but there's, those are small things for now. You know, and then you try to find other ways. But, you know, like my focus is drive. I'm trying, I want to do something to make up or try to make up for what I've done. And I've got a lot of opinions. I've got a lot of ideas in me. I can't give up because I have to try to get that out. I have to put that in some kind of form. You know, I've, I've got lots of pieces of paper I keep under my bed where I write things down, you know, business ideas, lyrics, uh, journal ideas, whatever. I mean, my mind's constantly going, and that's what keeps me focused. And that being, you know, even though I have a messed up crime, my mom and dad were good people. We had a lot of problems in our home, but there were good things they passed along to me, and one of them was work ethic. So that's helped me, you know, tremendously in here. I'm the one who made a decision to do this, but it didn't happen overnight. You know, and none of these kids, I mean, these kids either, they can't think, because they're not thinking, they're having someone else think for them, someone stronger thinking for them. You know, so it's why did it happen? And focus on that, you know, because like I said, none of these kids, are, they're not monsters. I mean, there may be bad people out there, and may, you know, but most of them, especially the young ones, they haven't had, they don't even know why they do some of the stuff they do. And sometimes they think they know why, but after it happens and reality hits and then they have time to come in here and think about it, we need to take it case by case and take them out of the prison system. That the prison system is not meant to examine uh, psychologically what's going on in the person's head. It's meant to keep you from society and punish you. You know, so we're throwing kids in here. Maybe we roll the dice and hope that they won't be a problem when they come back out, if they ever make it. What? 
I gotta spend my 18th birthday in here. But I make wrong. I, I I be making decisions without thinking it through. I don't be having like I be making bad decisions without thinking about the consequences. And then I just be getting caught up. You know, I've known plenty of them that are stuck on psychotropic drugs or can't keep you know stay out of seg segregation because they're just messed up in the head now. You know they. They were having problems with their peers. Now they get in here, there are no more peers, and some of the ones they are are in the same boat they're in, and it's just they spiral, you know, out of control. So what we need to do is examine what's going on with them, and you can only do that outside of this system. I'm telling you, I'm willing to compromise with you and do a week-to-week -week evaluation on your progress, on your behavior, and see how things go. If your behavior shows that it's consistent, and it's not showing negative behavior, I want to help you get your level two. Okay? It's up to you right now. For me, it took 13 years for me to actually say, to actually say I, I forgive myself. It took me 13 years. I, I, could, I could intellectually understand why I did it and, and tell a story about why it happened. I know what I was thinking back then, I know what I was feeling, and I knew I didn't want to do it, but I felt trapped. And no one was helping, even though I was asking and, and pleading for help, no one was helping. And it happened. But it, for 13 years, I couldn't hardly get, I couldn't get past uh, what I did and feeling just so sorry about it, and then everybody that hurt in the process you know, what I took away from them. And, that, and so it's like, I, I wanted to hold on to it to say you deserve it. You deserve to be tormented and, and, and depressed and all that kind of, and I was still doing good, but I, I wasn't at peace with myself. And it's still a struggle, even, even then, you know, it's still a struggle. I mean, I have times, you know, where I, I respond to something on the news. Uh, immediate reaction, this happens, a horrific crime. My first thought is, you know, you know, oh, you know what happened? But then, I, then I'm like, that's what people think about me. You know, and I, and I don't, so that's why I try to understand. I don't blame you if you are, are afraid or leery. I mean, I had guys in prison that have been leery just because, you know, you're 14 to kill your own parents, you must be crazy. I'm not gonna mess with you, you know, and, 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 I, and I, I, I understand that. But dealing with myself, I know what I'm thinking, I know what I feel, and so I'm able to tell myself now that I have something to offer that I'm actually, I like to think I actually I have more to offer because I've been on both sides. I've seen what the worst uh, state of mind can bring you as a human being, what can happen, and what the ripple effect it causes. I've seen it, I've felt it, I've been through it. So I'd like to think that I can actually keep other people from doing that. What is the reality check is everything that you, your decision and how it affects the rest of your life and what everything that you lose in the process because all it takes is one one thing one peer pressure moment and it happens so quickly and the next thing you know you're in for the rest of your life so it's about choices and you know I think that's that's what needs to appeal to kids more than anything is the choices that you make you know it's it's, it's extremely sensitive and crucial that you think for yourself and you do what you think is right and not what you think someone else wants you to do, that you know within yourself is wrong.